you know, it sounds pretty much like a chicken and I love that. My name is Ida Nilsson. I'm a bass player from Denmark. Since I started playing bass, I always thought it was really fun to play around with effects. The first time I realized that it was an electric bass guitar uh, playing effects was uh, Bootsy Collins doing like a lot of really funky effects on the bass. The first pedal I bought myself, uh, I don't remember the brand or which type it was, but it was a multi-effect thing that, that could do a lot of synth beats. I have a lot of favorite types of effects. A couple of the ones I always use is an envelope filter. I think it's really funky both for slapping, for finger style, and you know, it sounds pretty much like a chicken and I love that. So that's really funk. <laughs> it's funky and it's fun. And uh, also I like very much uh, octaverts. I think octave down always sounds really cool, either for a bass line or solo, but uh, when I'm soloing, I also add a tiny bit of uh, octave up because I was always jealous at the guitar players who were able to take like one high note and just go, yeah, and then it would sound amazing and you can't really do that on bass, it just goes boom. So, um, but with like extra octaves, it opens up the sound a little bit more and I think that helps. There's a lot of bass players who don't really use that many effects. Well, it's the nature of the instrument. You really uh, mostly play the pure sound of the bass, but, but some do. And I would say like, for instance, Mono Neon, he has the Digitech, where he likes to play some crazy solos and then he adds like the upper uh, octave. So it sounds completely insane. Uh, and that's a uh, very cool. It's a uh, very Prince-like too, and uh, so so that's that's a cool thing I think. The first time I tried the HX Stump, it was uh, the smaller version, and it was really cool because I thought this is exactly what I need for my life <laughs> because I travel a lot, and if I want to bring all the pedals that I want to use, it's it's a lot of carrying going on. So, and sometimes you take planes and sometimes you don't, and it's, it's just a little messy. And with, with a small pedal like that, it's just very, very easy. And you can really just choose the kind of effects you wanna have in it. And so with the XL version that I have now, it's great because there's not really any limits to it. Like it's, it basically has everything that I want. So it's, it's really great. It doesn't take up any space and it's important to me. So in my preset, I have two presets, but like my main, where I don't have the looper, I have all the effects I use during my show. Basically, it's all the effects that I mentioned before. What, what is really cool is if you come somewhere in a room, sometimes the room reacts differently to the effects and then you can easily just tweak them. And uh, they're really uh, great sounding. I have uh, one, effect where I use uh, delays and some shimmer effect and also a little bit of the high octave to make chords, to make them more bright and dreamy. And I love that because I love to play chords on the bass. And of course I have the envelope filter that I use uh, for solos and fun stuff. And I have an octave for uh, soloing, both octave down, octave up. And then I have a booster if I want to solo with the slap and I don't want to touch my sound, I just want it to be higher. And then I am about to have a fuss sound, I think, <laughs> after this session. <laughs> for, for any bass players who have not spent a lot of time with effects, I think they should just get started with it because it's really, really fun and you can explore new uh, possibilities with your bass and your playing. I think you can get inspired from sound. Like I do with the solo, I like to have the higher thing and it makes me play differently because I can sing a little bit more with the notes. And that's how all the different effects inspire you differently and it just opens up and it's just super fun. So I would say just go for it and have fun with it. Mm -hmm.